if you guys see anybody walking up behind me, just, you know, kind of let me know. I keep looking behind me. I, I, sometimes you get like weird, random people walking around this area that really shouldn't be here. Good morning, guys. Welcome to JMC Rides. I'm John. Today, we're going to be doing a light bar review on my JK. Yes, the title is correct. Over 40,000 lumens worth of light on my JK. A lot of people give other Jeep owners crap for having the light bars. I'm, I'm gonna be yeah. honest, I do love having the lights, especially these lights because these lights have that amber backlit feature. Plus, I've already been in situations when I'm off roading in some maybe not legal places, or I should say Mexico, where I've gotten stranded at night and I've had to use them, and they really are a lifesaver. Um, but I do understand some of the hate on the lights, and some of that hate is. You know, you get a guy that just got a brand new JK and he goes and he dumps maybe one to $2,000 on a light bar, but he doesn't have a winch or he doesn't have a lift or anything like that. Guys, you guys are familiar with my Jeep and I tried to build my Jeep by the book as best as I could possibly afford. And that included replacing the front axles, winches, um, a bunch of stuff. You guys, if you guys want the build list, you can look at the description or look at some of my older uh, Jeep videos where I kind of did a full review on this. Anyway, we're gonna go now. It's gonna be nighttime when you see this. We're gonna go find the darkest possible road that I could find in New York, and we're gonna light it up, turn it into daylight. I'll show you guys how bright these lights actually are and if they're worth the money to you or not. Check it out, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, click the little bell icon so you can get the notifications. We've got a lot more videos on the way. Also, also, you know what? Before we get started with this video, one quick thank you to all the subscribers, all the new subscribers also, and everybody who's been commenting on the channel, but a special thank you to all the haters. You know, I've been getting so much haters because of this wide body Hellcat from people who hate American cars. But I gotta thank you guys because thanks to you guys, since the last video where I announced how much I actually made on YouTube, my earnings on YouTube have actually doubled. So what that basically means is I have new mods that I've already ordered for the new wide body Hellcat. So check that out. And now let's go ahead and get started with this light bar review with the Baja Designs on my 2017 Rubicon Hard Rock. Let's check it out guys. All right guys. So. Uh, mission accomplished. I think I found like the darkest possible road in Long Island. Um, it's crazy over here. Um, I'm not sure about how safe it is, but anyway, I got the amber lights on right now in pure darkness. So check out what it looks like. All right, guys. So this is what I'm talking about right here. Um, I've mentioned in the past that I used to own a Ford Raptor, and I was always a fan of having those three little amber uh, lights on the grill. So this kind of reminds me of that. The only difference is that this would be like the on steroids version of it. It's got the amber lights on the 20 inch light bar and on the 50 inch on the top. It gives it a really unique look so far. You got a lot of Jeeps out there that have a lot of the same common modifications. Up until now, I haven't run into anybody who actually has the same um, light bars as me. And this is a feature that you can actually use every day at night. I've never had any issues getting pulled over since these lights are amber and you know, typically you get some people with these like red or blue light bars and that kind of thing. But again, the, being amber, I've never had a hard time. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure if it's legal or not, but I can tell you I haven't been pulled over yet. So I really enjoy these. Anyway, let's get on with right now with the rest of the light bar review. So if you guys see anybody walking up behind me, just, you know, kind of let me know. I keep looking behind me. I, I, sometimes you get like weird random people walking around this area that really shouldn't be here like me. But I'm, you know, I'm just doing a light bar review for you guys. Anyway, let's go ahead. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys from the inside of the Jeep. I'll show you from the outside also, but I'll show you from the inside of the Jeep what the light bars look like lighting up this whole road. We're gonna do light by light. I'll shut off the headlights, the fog lights. We're gonna do one at a time. Okay, I know you guys can't probably really see me. Well, maybe you can see it now because of the amber lighting, but I wanted to prove to you how dark it is behind me. You can't, see, I mean, you really can't see anything which is, which I, to be honest with you, I'm gonna shoot this video as fast as possible and get the hell out of here before I have some like random homeless person or something show up, who knows. I'm not in my town, I actually drove, <clears throat> I actually ended up driving to this place because I remember seeing this place when I was a kid. 
Okay guys, keep in mind I'm using my camera which it's gonna auto adjust to the lighting. That initial brightness, that's actually how bright these things are. They're crazy bright and I, I really do love these lights. Check it out. So right now, what do I have on? I have, I'm gonna turn off the amber lights. Right, no amber lights. Okay, now we have every single light out. We're gonna go first with fog lights. These are the JW speaker fog lights. Okay, just the fog lights. I gotta say, just for being fog lights, they're not they're not bad at all. I really like the JW speakers. Obviously, I like them. I have them on my tail lights, my headlights, and fog lights. All right, here we go. Now we're adding the headlights. So that's headlights and fogs. Now I'm gonna turn off the fogs, only keeping the headlights. All right, now we're gonna turn everything off. We're gonna go for the 10 inch light bar. Keep in mind, the 10 inch light bar that I have on my on the front of the Jeep, first of all, there's gonna be links to all the, J, to all the Baja Design light bars that I have. I'll have them in the description below. The 10 inch light bar that I have, this thing is actually brighter than the 20 inch. This is what they call their high output version of the light bar. Um, I'm gonna give you exact specifications right now, let's see. So the 10 inch one that I have puts out 11,650 lumens. That's just the 10 inch. Just so you get an idea, that's the high output version. The 20 inch that's on my hood only puts out 8,000. It actually puts out less because it's not the high output version. That 10 inch one by itself is more than enough to light up everything in front of me and I'm going to show you guys right now. Right now I'm going to hit it with the 10 inch. That's it. That's just the 10 inch light bar right now. And as you can see, my headlights and fog lights are off. Just the 10 inch alone and I can see perfectly in front of me. I'm going to turn on the 20 inch so you can get an idea. The 20 inch is the one that's right on the hood of the Jeep. So you can see that the 20 inch kind of focuses it's well to be fair the 20 inch is actually like a spotlight where the 10 inch i don't remember if it, if it was like a combo or something like that but you can see where the center of the road is more lit up the sides are less lit up it's going to turn off the 20 and go back to the 10. you can kind of see right there it's lighting up the ground a lot a lot better that's also because of the way i have them aimed so here we go now i'm going to do the 10 and the 20 at the same time all right, we're gonna turn that off. The last thing we're gonna do is all light bars, over 40,000 lumens facing forward. We're gonna do that at the last shot. Here we go, now we're gonna do the 50 inch light bar. That's the 50. The 50 obviously lights up, That's the 50 is a combo light. It does FUD and spot. I mean, obviously the 50 is brighter than the 10. Then the, t the just so you guys get an idea, the 50 inch puts out 20,000 lumens. So now for the last shot, I think I just saw an animal cross by or something. Don't know. But anyway, so here we go. Now the last shot, we're going to do fogs, headlights, and all the light bars. All right, guys. So there you have it. That's, right now we're looking at all 40,000 lumens, a little bit over 40,000 lumens straight ahead it's ridiculously bright now i don't actually expect the camera to capture the brightness i'm going to point the camera at it from an angle so you can kind of get an idea this is from an angle i'll walk right in front of it also you can see how ridiculously bright this is you guys think i need to get extra light bars <laughs> Also, I didn't show you guys, but I have lights on the back, and I think it's a nice touch to have them. By the way, check out the really cool JW speaker taillights. Way better than the stock taillights. These, these are like two little cube lights. Again, they're very, very bright. If someone's driving behind you or whatever, you flip those on. I don't recommend you do it. It's not legal, but I mean, as you can see, it also kind of light. It's good to like maybe you need to do work or something you want to light up space behind you you're camping who knows also good for that i'll let you guys decide how you like to use your backup lights but yeah that's pretty much it finally did the light bar review that i've been telling you guys about if you found the info in this video to be useful you enjoyed the video 
do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up. If it's your first time on the channel, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, click the little bell icon so you can sign up for the notifications. Comment below, let me know what you thought. Oh, the last thing I gotta tell you guys is, the Hellcat, um, I'm already past what I would consider my break-in period, so expect to see some fun videos on the way with the Hellcat. I hope you guys enjoyed, and have a great day, guys. I'm getting the hell out of here before I get myself into some trouble. Yeah, I want the world. Yeah, I want the world. It's too easy feeling too comfortable. I don't think I can be satisfied. 2015 thought I had it all. Watch it all slow down just overnight. Never forget about the younger life. Wrong decisions led to sacrifice. A blessing in disguise got me working overtime. Now I'm on top like LeBron. I'm ripping, I'm ripping the beat.